Today marks the 37th anniversary of Black July that changed the fate of our collective history on the island of Sri Lanka. State-sponsored mobs stormed local Tamil neighborhoods in Colombo using electoral list and looted their homes and businesses, set vehicles and property on fire, and chased and attacked Tamil families from their homes and onto the streets. Tamil men, women and children were attacked, beaten, raped and ultimately slaughtered by mobs. Black July led to over 3,000 Tamils being murdered, left many more homeless, and over a million Tamils displaced around the world. My family was forced to come to Canada as a result of Black July and seek refuge in Canada. These horrifying events ignited the 26-year armed conflict in Sri Lanka, which ended with the Mulivaikal genocide on May 18, 2009. Years later, the Tamil community across the globe continue to search for justice, peace, self and self-determination on the island. With the return of the Rajapaksha brothers, we once again see an authoritarian government on the island systematically eroding the rule of law, evading justice and failing the Tamil people on the island. History has taught us that while justice may be delayed, it will prevail. Those implicated in international crimes will be brought to justice. I continue to be inspired by those on the ground who continue to resist the oppression and gain their agency. Today, the Tamil community here in Canada and across the world is stronger than ever, and we will stand together collectively with our brothers and sisters on the ground and recommit to pursue justice, peace, and accountability on the island. 37 years later, we will never forget.